hi guys again this is still friday it is part two of the um ross haul but you guys i went to costco and i wanted to show you guys what i got from costco i could not take the camera the um new camera that i got because of the fact that the what is the cord that comes with it the USB cord did not come with the camera uh, kit, which is crazy. So we are ordering that. We've ordered it, and it's coming Monday so that I'm able to transport my videos to the computer so I can upload those. I have so many. You guys, I went filming crazy. And um, so some of them I'm going to show, some of them not. Um, so that's why I wasn't able to camera school. I wasn't able to bring... Uh, the camera into Costco but I will be doing that soon I just want to show you guys what I got from Costco tonight I did like completely a vegetable haul like you guys I'm just like juicing all this week because I'm just wanting to cleanse out so the first thing I want to put it in the refrigerator they were um showing this in Costco the outshine bars however they did the real big ones and I just wanted to show you the brand I went to my um um neighborhood grocery store and found the mango flavor which is the one that i love and i purchased the mango flavor you guys can probably find this in your local um grocery store i love these because it's real fruit um and it's no gmo ingredients and let's see here uh it has 16 grams of sugar but don't go crazy just have like one a little treat every you know maybe once or twice a week um but they were delicious and the flavors were really really good so you guys the outshine bars these were at costco if you want have a big family and you want the big pack they're at costco but if you don't it's just you and or maybe two other people you guys can get this and this is a bar this is six bars that comes in here six fruit bars okay so i'm gonna hand this over because this is you know frozen it's cold okay so the next thing i got from costco today of course i got the baby kale you guys yes do we need the baby kale yes why because it's just full of nutrients for us organic had to get that because I'm going to be juicing with that um, and possibly if it's not too rough because you know kale is rough. So that's why I like juicing with kale more so than just like eating it in a salad. So I'll probably be juicing with this more so than anything. So baby kale. Let me see what else I have down here. I got some broccoli, um, organic broccoli florets. Oh my gosh, I love them. You can steam them lightly or you can just make like a little dressing and just have broccoli, you know, or mix it with all kinds of salad. You know all the different salads you can make with raw broccoli. So delicious. So I bought broccoli. Also, you can juice with this. Not much, but more so I like to just like put a little bit of salad dressing and just eat them and enjoy it like that. Not the ranch, neither. <laughs> okay, so another thing, you guys, we got to put this up as soon as possible. They weren't, um, I have never, you guys are going to talk about me. I have never tried Indian food. Never. But I've always been interested in it because it's just so beautiful and colorful and just, it just always smelled good whenever I would drive past some of the places. You, Ooh, wow. I've never tried it and I've had so many of my friends and family say girl you got to try some Indian food Indian food is delicious so while I was in Costco today you know how they have the um, you, when they're cooking the little booths you can go and try the food you guys fell in love with this I guess it's called Sakai's chicken tikka masala this stuff right here and this is all chicken breast um, in a creamy tomato curry Oh my goodness, you guys, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so delicious. And it's two pouches, and it also you can have it with the rice. And that rice is two pouches. Really simple, heat it up. You probably even can put this in your um, uh, crock pot and just heat it up and serve. Put a vegetable on the side and make a nice salad. And you can just truly enjoy this. You guys, it was so good. I'm sorry, I have the back of it. So, Sakai, that would help if I would show you guys the right. So uh, lemon rice, the Sakai lemon rice, and they had that with this. The, this was on top of the lemon rice, and you guys, it was so delicious. So I'm excited about making this this um, week and possibly even having it for like lunch the next day. But I'm just excited. It's chicken breast, okay? All right, so that's that. Let's see what we got next here. I bought some salad kits, the spring organic mixed salad kit. Just to make a nice salad, you know, make sure we are getting our nutrients in. 
Another thing, you know, oh, sorry guys. Another thing that I have here is um the Brussels sprouts. Who doesn't love Brussels sprouts? Steam them lightly or you can roast them. Delicious. I used to hate these things whenever I was younger. I thought that they taste like Tide. And then I always thought to myself, well, how did I know what Tide tastes like? Tide, like the, the, the Tide that wash your clothes. And for some reason, you know the scent. Sometimes you can taste scent. It's hard to explain. But this just reminded me, the flavor of it when I was a child reminded me of Tide soap. So I always hated it. But as I grew older, I have come to love Brussels sprouts. They are truly delicious. And you can do so many things with them. Another thing, just to give a little sweetness in my um in my juice, um, I need to get a pineapple. The pineapples were not at all ready at all so i'm gonna wait on the pineapples but anyway i got these grapes i'm gonna juice with some of them and then sometimes just maybe just eight or ten grapes just to take on the road a little snack to pop in your mouth um so these i got these today um let's see what else did i get here of course asparagus when you're having your um you're having your um Salmon, you know, I have to have my asparagus. I love asparagus and salmon together. It's just delicious to me. And I'm sure you do too. I just really do love it. So asparagus. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, another organic spinach. Um, juice with this and also combine it with the spring salad and just blend it all together and just enjoy a nice salad. I like putting walnuts sometimes in my salad. A few walnuts cut up, chopped up, and then sometimes cranberries, but it depends on what kind of dry cranberry, because some dry cranberries are just literally sticky and full of sugar. I don't like that kind, but sometimes when you just want a little sweetness, um, I add cranberries. So anyway, can't wait to get that going, but you guys, I bought something tonight, and it was the last one in Costco. Would you believe this? The last one. Okay, um, I've been wanting one of these. This, uh, what is this? The OXO, OXO, OXO salad spinner. I am so excited, you guys. I have a salad spinner. No more using paper towels and squeezing the salad, you guys. Yes, I was doing that. Because you know salad, um, when you make your salads and you rinse them, if you don't do it right, that salad dressing is going to be watery. You're not going to have that nice amount, just the little amount of coverage on the salad dress just destroys everything the water does. So I'm so excited about the Softworks, I, I guess it's OXO, OXO Softworks um, Salad Spinner. And I am so excited, you guys. So I'm going to get down with my salads this summer. I'm just excited about that. Um, spinning them, not having to use. Uh, uh, paper towel okay so I wanted to show you guys last but not least this was just a real quick haul because I went out um, the other day I was in Tuesday mornings I don't know if you have a Tuesday mornings in your area it's a store where you can just find all kinds of little goods um, here in Southern California I think they have Tuesday mornings in some other uh, uh, parts of the country I'm not for sure all the locations though so anyway um, the Tuesday mornings is right next to home goods i mean it's just like they keep us going don't they it's like tuesday mornings like if it's not here then we're gonna go over to home home goods and if it's not home goods then we'll go over to walmart and if it's not walmart we'll go over to target they know what they're doing let me tell you these people that own these strip malls and making really good money doing it doing so too you are knowing what you're doing by putting these nice stores that grabs our attention it's just like when you're going to finish ringing up your items in the store they always put the best stuff our little things that grab your eye and we are so silly and we always fall into the temptation and grabs oh i do need that no you don't need it because you didn't look for it in the store had they not put it there you would have never said you needed it we are so funny but anyway back to this um i have been needing this it's a resistant tube i saw yesterday in tuesday morning um, and this is really good when you are, cause, because I'm overweight for my body, I don't want to lift actual weight cause I already have weight on from my body being a little heavier. So in order for me to keep that balance, I like using the resistant bands so that I'm cutting the muscle 
and it's growing strong but it's not growing bigger do you get what i'm saying that's my own theory i don't know i'm hoping that that is exactly that's the way i feel that it would do so um I went and bought the resistant band um, I have worked with them before and I love the resistance band and let me tell you you will be sore the next day so if you think how can you get it work out try a resistance band and see see what happens <laughs> it's really really good so this one I really do like it um, hope so I like the way that it, the handles looked and I like the color but I haven't tried it yet so um, I'll let you know because this bad boy was only $5.99 and the regular price was is, is $18 and I got it for $5.99. So I said, okay, they did have another one by Weight Watchers. I think I'm going to go back and get that one from my mother because it has videos, um, tapes to also instruct on how to use it. So I think I'm going to go back and get that and I'll show you guys that as well. This one is resistance level is a medium stretch and it's by Cabana Sports. And I just can't wait to use it because... You guys, it has been a challenge with my weight loss. I'm not going to sit up there and lie. It has been a challenge, but I'm going to do it. I refuse to stop. I'm going to do it. And so it doesn't come off as easy as it used to. I tell you that much. I remember back in the day, I could, oh my God, I need to lose five pounds or 10 pounds. You work out, child, about a week, two weeks, it's gone not anymore so you gotta really work at it so those of you who are young and you're watching me and your body is nice and tight like it is now exercise take care of your body and appreciate it and watch what you put in it because later on down the line it can come off it still can come off do not get me wrong but it'll be more of a challenge okay so please take that advice from me okay you guys so the pacific uh resistance tube i will uh, put a link to this uh I did get it from Tuesday morning, but if I see anywhere online where you can get it uh, close to the price that I paid for, I will also link that for you too. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to show you, I said, let me go back home and do a part two to this video because I want to show them what I went out and bought. Because I had to go to Costco today, I had to go and uh, buy four brand new tires, but I got a really good deal on it. So I was really, Costco is just, you guys, if you have a Costco in your local area, Costco is really, really good. And let me tell you this much. There have been times where I was not available to afford Costco. They used to be called Price Club out here in um, California. Then they changed it to Costco. There was a time where I was not available to go to Costco. But what's beautiful is those of you who do have Costco cards, if you have family members that have a Costco card, a really good friend that has a Costco card, don't take it go with them and just say what day do you go to costco oh this day do you mind if maybe i can sure and if you have one invite a friend say do you have a costco card oh no girl they too expensive okay look you know what i have a costco card um uh, because i don't have a bunch of babies running around that i have my son he's grown i don't have any more choice i'm waiting for some to come in once he get married i can't wait for the little okay i'm not going there but He's grown. So if you have little ones, sometimes that's hard to buy a Costco card. And that's understandable. Honey, let me tell you, as a single mother, I didn't have a Costco card. That came just about two years ago. So anyway, because other things are more important. And, and But what I'm trying to say here is if you are a person with a Costco card, invite your friend that you know is a single mother or a a family that just cannot afford a Costco card. It's just like right now, we just cannot afford. Be like, you know what, but I'm going if you guys want to go, you know, because you're trying to buy a bundle, you know, hey, I'm going on this day. How about that? Would you like to come? I have a card. You can come through my card. Come use um, my membership to get in. We'll shop on the same day because, you know, they have the picture on the back. You can't just use the card and go in because they asked for that card. Um, but anyway, yeah, so invite a friend invite a family member that cannot afford or just right now it's just like you know it's not a good time but I wish I can get bundle you know invite 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 so anyway or even if you see something that they really love that they give their kids buy it you know some that's think about others I always say find something where it's like you know what 
I'm, she, her kids love grapes or her kids love this juice or they she you know what her little boy is is on the soccer um team and i know she needs gatorade for the other kids and it's always cool and awesome for the moms i remember those days bringing gatorades and bags of chips and all graham crackers and all that stuff and afterwards you had to pass it out so anyway help help a friend help a family member that's the way i say use your memberships to help help others don't just think about you and your family so anyway you guys i hope you enjoyed this remember i'm going back to them because i always do i never leave them i love them jesus is your friend <laughs> yes yes i'm not pounding jesus on y'all i'm giving him honor and praise because of how much he has loved me and he loves you so you guys be blessed trust jesus accept him in your heart and watch him change your life but you guys be blessed and thank you for watching Journey with Char. If you like my channel, give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you like me. Subscribe. Also leave a message. Let me know. Hey, how you doing? I'll say hi back. Thank you so much. You guys be blessed. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.